guys, Isabella here, and welcome back to the channel. So, oh my god, fuck me. I, nothing makes me want to stick my foot under a fucking ATV and let it run it over than WFAB. But here we are. So, today's video, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, the things that we can always expect with WFAB, they are always tacky, they lack creativity severely, and the shit that they hype up is always, always going to be a letdown, because the way that they hype it up is just, it's literally overhyped, pretty much. So, today's video, we are gonna be reacting to some bullshit. WFAB has apparently hired videographers to film them, do basic shit, but apparently show why we're the number one trending network marketing team or movement ever, which one is bullshit already. There's no numbers proving that whatsoever, besides if people are watching other anti moon creators to watch how dumb this is. Nonetheless, though, they're apparently trying to run with this concept of a reality episode. They want to do this whole reality TV show concept, which I'm gonna tell you right now, it is literally copying Afnan Khalifa and and Lily Zaremba in regards to the Truly episodes. That's exactly what this is. They're trying to be like, look at us and look at the things that we go through. Like, it's just, it's so bad, I cannot say. We're gonna react to that today. Apparently, they're gonna have multiple episodes of this, so I will react to the first bit, and then I will see how this goes and how many there will be, because then I will just keep reacting to them. So, in order for everyone to watch the fuckery without it benefiting them, we can just react to it on this channel and give actual good commentary and feedback and prevent their stupid little episodes from missing misleading more people, because that's exactly what I believe it will do, mislead more people about this WFAB movement. So anyways, before we hop into today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button down below so that you'll be notified of every single video I post. <sighs> Let's get into this shit. Let's go. So the first thing that I actually wanted to play, this is a video that was posted up by Jasmine the uh, actually yesterday, and it's just her talking about this entire situation and the episode and everything. So let's listen. All right, guys, before I get this workout started, we are about to drop the teaser that I was talking about last night. We're dropping the full episode on Wednesday, but check it out. Take a shot every time they overuse the back and forth transitions in their teaser. <laughs> It's the audacity for me, seriously. Like, like I'm triggered. I, I'm literally triggered. You're willing to drag my whole reputation, my whole business, uh, which ultimately takes the food off my table, like you were saying. Like, that, like, some, like, we could have never recovered from that. The most anxiety, bro. Yeah. The most anxiety I've had in, in more than two years. So excited to show you guys the full episode. I know you guys want to see it, but you guys have to wait until tomorrow, okay? This um, trip was meant to show our true authentic selves, like the different personalities that we have in WFAB, how we leverage each other, how we leverage each other's strengths, um, the role that we play and knowing what we bring to the table and how we just come together, work together to grow. Let's, I have many thoughts with just the teaser. One, Jasmine's smiling and fine. So the ending of them crying and everything, I'm gonna 100% bet my left titty that that was just a play up. That was complete fake bullshit in my opinion. I'm not gonna believe that in the slightest. What do you think the entire purpose of this whole series or whatever is? I feel like they need to find more ways to try and market themselves off. So if they have more ways of showing off their lifestyle the personalities, them going to Airbnbs and doing all these fun things, then again, they are trying to market themselves off as successful entrepreneurs, which we know neither is fucking true. They are not entrepreneurs in the slightest. That easily can be proven. And in regards to success, success maybe because other people were manipulated into a system. Yeah, I would believe that. But other than that, they're not self-made people. So let's actually talk about some of the couple things that I'm noticing in regards to this as well. One, if they are the number one trending movement for WFAB, which is WFAB, how come all of their social media platforms, the main people that only engage with their social media platforms, including the WFAB Instagram, are strictly people in the WFAB community and just in Nigerius? 
It is not a bunch of external people at all. Every one of their comments and everything is people on their downlines. Like it is not genuine good engagement. I bet if they stop doing that, no one would actually engage or comment in their stuff. So you're not trending, babes. If you're referring to trending as if people are talking about you, maybe. Maybe to an extent though, because who, people who are reacting to this and talking about this, they're not in favor of you. They're literally calling out your scam. And again, if anyone's coming on here and is curious about WFAM, if you guys want beautiful examples of how they have manipulated, how they have treated people terribly, how they have fucked with people in general. M many of us have playlists on this because we show how messed up this is. We've caught these people in lies many, many times. They do compulsively lie. We have literally been able to prove that time and time again. These people are unethical and not someone that I would support any way, shape, or form. Let's get into this entire video. Again, there is actually other things that I want to mention that I found out in regards to the Airbnb that they rented out and how some things happened during that. Um, but anyways, let's keep going. Hold up. So originally they were calling it Keeping Up With The W Fab, but now it's Heels Over Hills, a W Fab lifestyle. Tacky as hell. The fact that you can't come up with a legit creative name for this entire thing is just funny to me. One thing I actually want to point out right now, because I actually skimmed through this video before and I noticed a lot of designer items that were shared and displayed in this and in the interview session. So I have a theory and a part of me really believes this to be true. So companies like AliExpress, DHG, everything like that, they create designer replicas essentially, where they have identical replicates to high-end designer items. If anyone wants to, even the richest people can find a exact beautiful dupe of an Hermes bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of these items can get duplicates for for 10 times cheaper. So I'm sitting here right now because I've told y'all I have bought duplicates. I have no shame. I don't give a shit. I like duplicates because I like the designs of it. I don't give a shit about the designer. I just like the concept. That's about it. Like one time I wore a Cartier um, bracelet in a video and someone mentioned that, but I forgot to mention like it's fake and I have no shame in that. It was just pretty. Like that was it. My point is I genuinely without a doubt don't feel like they are making enough money to just buy designer like this all the time because statistically that is not realistic. I also like I just think it's bullshit and I think these people have such a focus on showing off designer and purchasing designer to show their wealth since they can't exactly always make income claims which is attacking itself. My guess though is is they go out of their way to buy good fakes products or items that are designer to show off their wealth but I think I think they're fake. I also also would like to let you know, well, yes, they could have packaging and everything or bags like that you would get if you were shopping in a Dior store, for example, or if you purchase something from Gucci. Replica listings, they will send you identical packaging as well. So you get the full experience without the price. Like everything is literally made identical to Gucci, for example. So it is not far-fetched to guess that everything that they literally buy is fake. Just gonna be real with you here. It's like six in the morning. I cannot with you morning people. Good morning! Hello beautiful people! I am Matilda, but you can call me Tilt, aka the Lebanese Queen. That's a good one. I am the passionate one out of the group, as you can tell. I'm loud. I'm very out there. I, this is giving me pick me. Hi, I'm the loud, obnoxious one. And then there's clips of her being loud and obnoxious. Like, babe, we get it. We get it's okay. But again, what the fuck is this supposed to show? Like, this is just embarrassing. Do you know the internet is forever? I don't know if you know this, but the internet is forever. I've always just been like, if I want it, I have to go get it. That's, that's the type of people I like to surround myself with. You know, action takers, people who like to execute what they want. And, and that's really what just fuels me. I do not allow people to project their insecurities onto me because, you know, they feel some type of way about themselves. And when they're around me, they're like, oh, she makes me feel some type of blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't care. Don't let anyone tell you who the fuck you are. 
because when you do, they will fit you into the small box that they live in. And you can't afford to live in a small box. You're too big for that. You're too cute for that. You're too smart for that. Love the, I'm gonna pretend to really support you so that way you hopefully join my team. What a vibe. We can see right through this. Friends, I haven't worked out in like 10 years. I showed up dressed. This is about as good as it gets. I gotta prepare for my workout. And we'll just do a rotation. Five exercise, three times. And I have a timer. Before being into network marketing, I was actually like dancing a lot and I was working out a lot and I worked at a gym and I was working out five to six times a week. It's important to work out and have that certain daily method of operation. I'm a very organized person. The schedule we had, I kind of imposed my schedule on the girls. Work out! <laughs> yeah, this, so when the WFAB transitioned from Monet to iGenius, there was a lot of talk and a lot of people coming out talking to many creators, including myself, about how badly they were treated by WFAB. Like, again, there were some things I physically could not share with people because I didn't want these individuals getting harassed. From the things that I was sent, I could visually see messages and things between these people and their downlines and the way that they were treating people was not okay at all. So what I think they're trying to do is build their reputation back of showing like, we're a family I care for you we treat each other like family we're like working tight-knit I call bullshit I have personally witnessed the things that they will do if you are not good enough for them if you do not fit their aesthetic if you do not make enough money for them that is what I've personally witnessed now again I'm not saying everyone has to believe me I get that I can't show proof of this because I'm protecting other people and the way that they compulsively lie and the way that they have reacted to facts I wouldn't put it past them with how they do treat other people in iGenius that's just my mentality but this to me is trying to build a reputation this is trying to build a foundation to show off how good they are. I'm not going to think you're a great phenomenal person if you're part of a multi-level marketing company that scams people and lies to people about chances of making money. When you claim everyone's financially successful, but IG is clearly, along with every other MLM, does not have a high success rate or growth rate in regards to income, then no. Like you are lying purposely with these lifestyle videos. So hey guys, my name is Sabrina, aka the social media girl, aka your motivational queen, aka the director of W5 Radio. She's a social media goat, greatest of all time, yet her videos and her posts again on social media don't get any engagement. I am not trying to be an asshole. I'm just stating reality. I will post up examples. The engagement is nothing, or if there is something, it is of people that are on her downline. Do you see how bullshit this is? Excuse me, I'm just gonna have some Red Bull. Like, I haven't slept in like over 24 hours, so let me just look. Like, <laughs> so, the reason why I say I'm the director, guys, is because honestly, I'm just that girl that's gonna take care of the schedule. I make sure everybody's on top, I make sure everybody's back into momentum. I'm annoying, I am loud. Which Sabrina do you want today? <laughs> that could be a lot. I like to annoy people. This is what I do for a living on top of investing, trading, and making money. This is what I do part time. Um, so, yeah. This one over here, she only works out for the country. I farted. I farted because I'm nervous. Don't put that in. It's okay, you can put it in. Okay. That's Dre, like that's Dre right there. But you know what, my first don't smell because I'm vegan. What's up y'all, my name is Dre and I am known as the energy queen because no matter what training I go on, no matter what event I go to, I always bring that energy and I'll probably make you laugh, okay? Because I'm a little bit of a jokester. I love to laugh, I love to make people laugh. In WFAB, I like to look at myself as like the engineer because they got all these great ideas but I'm the one who executes them. I'm the sister. <sighs> Quick question, does anyone know what an engineer is? What have you designed or built, Dre? Dre has not built or designed anything. And again, if we look at the patterns and history of the creation of WFAB, most of the stuff was snatched by enough from another person who started WFAB. The point is though, is anything that has been created has been directly mimicked from other people from what I could see. Or again, like it's, it's very basic. There is no true creativity in WFAB. Every time that they try and create something, it's always called out by somebody and shown of why it's Bullshit. Where are you guys going, friends? We're coming out back. Outside. We're coming out. Coming out. Coming out. Coming out. Coming out. Coming out. Coming out.
Yes, yes you will. Yeah. It's cold. I don't do cold. You can't pick me on the <laughs> spot. <laughs> Let's try her out. Can I have a sip of this? What are we doing? We're going outside, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I don't have a jacket. Yes, I don't have a jacket. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
And something about me is I am creative. Like I, I am always just an explorer. I'm always looking at, listening to music, li looking at videos. Like how can I make my vision become a reality? Make sure you get the shoe. Okay, and then walk past. Babe? Yeah. Can you make a shisha? Yeah. <laughs> gonna get worse and here is some fucking tea for y'all so uh, when this was going down there wasn't much being shared on their IG stories or anything like there wasn't a lot of substance per se so I like didn't get a lot of like I didn't have a lot of you guys messaging me about it however there was posts about these people and how they rented out an Airbnb so this is an Airbnb I had a subscriber I had one of you guys I don't know who it was I really like DM me again or something but I had another one of you guys DM me showing me screenshots of this Airbnb and showing how the requirements of this Airbnb were very specific. Certain amount of people could not be in this Airbnb, there could not be partying, there could not be smoking, and again, don't disrespect Airbnb. Hello everyone, my shit is literally everywhere right now. However, I wanted to hop in because I just caught this, and yeah, I wanted to show you all. So I actually got out of Airbnb, right, and I typed in where they went. Found it! So this is the Airbnb that they stayed at. It's absolutely stunning, by the way. Um, And again, because of certain chairs and photos, that's how I was able to like identify it. This is a nice place. Right? This costs $770 a night, which again, divided up by 10 people, that's $77 per person a night. Pretty, pretty damn good, still a lot of money. I'm just saying though, this is a luxury, luxury home. This is beautiful. Absolute audacity of these goofies to disrespect the house rules of smoking in the home, apparently. I believe that's what they're doing. And then dancing on countertops and shit. Like, what the fuck is your problem? Like, this is beautiful. I'm like scrolling through this. The snow, the hot tub. Oh my God. The homeowner, like, nice job. The fact that they had the utmost audacity try it, to treat a luxury home like this is just... It screams tacky. That's just a fun thing I wanted to bring up. So they were allegedly supposed to be here for a certain amount of days, right? They had to leave early because of something. One of my subscribers literally messaged the Airbnb host, sent them the proof of them dancing on countertops, disrespecting the furniture, tossing shit around, you name it, because that is fuck, that is very disrespectful to mess with somebody's property like that. And allegedly they got kicked out early. So again, I'm just saying, when they claim that they're gonna be there for so long, and then I get people messaging me saying, hi, I'm hitting up the Airbnb host. The host had no idea that this is going on, by the way. And then all of a sudden, when we see everything get posted of oh we're leaving early i think you got kicked out but yeah th this is an airbnb How why would you ever disrespect somebody's home that they rent out to you like this like You feel good you I wouldn't even do that in a hotel like I wouldn't do that ever like that is so messed up to do that to somebody's property that they kindly rent like just because you rent it out from somebody doesn't mean you just can do whatever you want with it like that's so rude like acting natural you know hi my name is Charlie I'm 21 years old and you know usually when people see me for the first time they all think that I'm super shy but don't get twisted, okay? I'm always watching and sometimes judging. But no, for real, I just have a lot of energy, I love being, and you know, um, I do a lot of facial expression, but you wouldn't get used to it. Anyways, at the end of the day, everybody loves me, and I, I love like good vibes, I love like partying, but you know, working out also. Guess what? Wait a minute. Hey guys, so my name is Melody. I'm 22 years old and a little bit about me. Listen, I'm just that average girl. Every morning I wake up at 6. Okay, I read, meditate, journal every morning. 
do my affirmation, write down my goals. Everybody does that, right? 7.30 a.m., I'm at the gym, okay? From Monday to Friday, everybody does that too, right? I make money, yeah, yeah, I'm good at that, making money. And another thing that I have to say that might cause a problem, pick up freak. Okay, if I see girls messing around and not cleaning after they're cooking, it might cause problems. Okay. Whenever you're ready for your intro. Can I have my champagne first, but I can't do this without my mimosa. Where's my mimosa? Okay, so. My name is Alicia Armstrong. I'm a queen and a boss. When I speak, people listen. I don't demand attention. I command attention. There's a difference. Let me just adjust. She's a beautiful woman. All of these girls are very beautiful, I think. And honestly, it disappoints me seeing people who I think it succeed in so many other industries completely waste their time scamming people. All, this entire vibe is not relatable in any way, by the way. So their marketing is dog shit to their target audience, by the way. If I didn't know them, like just speaking like this just feels ugh to me. Like none of this stuff feels genuine or good. This is just violently played up, honestly, for the camera to give this idea of that they have power control, that they are are an entrepreneur that they have money that they're very successful you know what I mean but like this just doesn't give any good relatable vibes like I feel like this is contradictory to what you would want to do if anything if you're marketing to relate to people to get them to like you the crowd. are we almost done I keep it 100 at all times and people respect and appreciate that it's hard work being a boss <laughs> cheers to me when your friend loves you and she cooks for you. Hi, my boo. Hi. What are you making? making? Some Venezuelan arepas. Venezuelan style. Wow, that was so bad. Wow. What's poppin'? My name is Zurich, also known as the fashionista of investing. Cause you know, I be coming through with them looks. Wait, 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 how's my hair? So It's good, it's good. Sure? Yeah. Also a wellness reina, I've been a plant-based chef for over two years. I'm a mommy and soon to be wifey, just waiting on the ring. I've been an entrepreneur for over 10 years and you know, coming from a low income family, something that has been instilled in me from young is that hustler mentality. I'm gonna always go for it and always figure it out. So we are about to eat. Arepas. Mine looks a little bit different because, you know, plant-based style over here. Hey. But, um, so in your plate, you have tuna, uh, butter, and cheese. And now for two arepas, I made like two for everybody. So I'm going to explain to you how to stuff them, and then you guys can give me your reaction. Okay. Okay, yes. so take your arepa. So You're going to cut it open. Oh. Like, in, look, in here and then cut around. Oh, in where? A little bit hard. But. <laughs> you cut it all the way? Open. Yeah. It's hot. Like, try to leave it a little bit open. Okay, hold on, we got this one. Really now you're gonna grab the butter and butter it up. Wow. <laughs> this is butter? Yeah, yeah. vegan butter, guys. And mm -hmm. then you're gonna put the tuna inside, and then the chicken. I'm not gonna lie, that looks fucking good. I need to look that up and figure out how to make it, because that looks, that looks honestly pretty damn yummy. I don't know what to do with this. Just it up. This. It's fine. I want to try the vegan ones too. You want to try this? Chicken. It's yeah. a type of chicken. Oh. Vegan. Okay. Okay. And then everybody's ready to take their bite. Yeah. They need to oh, Jasmine. Jasmine took the first bite. She did not oh. wait. Ah. <laughs> I look too good. I'm just dripping all over my tummy. I need it to go in my tummy. That okay, here. Good. Zer takes the win. Like she can come over anytime, okay? Because I don't like to cook, but she's a really good chef, and I need her to come over. I'm a vegan, but I'm a lazy vegan. I'm a vegan, but I'm a Uber Eats vegan. You understand what I'm saying? It's a little different. She's like a real vegan. She's like the real ones. I already know this is gonna be bomb because the amount of like breakthroughs I've had with her cooking this weekend. <laughs>
she said breakthroughs. So. That's okay. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. 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 Wow. Hell yeah. That's really good. <laughs> Now that like I like I tasted this food, it's like oh my god, I wanna eat more. Like it's really I really discovered this this week and I feel like I, I wanna get into it. I wish she could adopt me so I could go to her house and eat her food all the time. Unfortunately I can't. She already has a daughter, doesn't need another one. How you know it's a good arepa? It's when you get drips yeah. all down. Yeah, your head. that's literally what's happening with me right now. <laughs> wow. It's a messy one. Clearly, yeah. but it's a good one. Mm -hmm. You know the food is good when I'm dancing. I do like my chicken, I like my meat. So it was a change, but I liked it. It was good. My girl shoves it up. Honestly, like I'm a meat eater, okay? But hundred percent. I could f with her shit all day. Bro, you're never gonna believe who texted me. What? It's the audacity for me, seriously. Like, like I'm triggered. I, I'm literally triggered. You're willing to drag my whole reputation, my whole business, uh, which ultimately takes the food off my table, like you were saying. Like, that, like, some, like, we could have never recovered from that. The most anxiety, bro. Yeah. The most anxiety I've had in, in more than two years. Okay, so apparently next episode is when they're going to be showing the tears, the crying, and the struggles that's going on. So this happened a decent bit ago, so I have no idea what they're referring to. I don't know if they're still referring to the WFAB videos that anti-MLM was creating. If they're saying like, oh, this is the biggest anxiety, like, guess who texted me to show me this? Like, you know, this could really take the foods off our table, which I don't fully believe necessarily. But no, like, I think getting called out would be a reason for this type of reaction. So moral of the story, what do we think about this? I really think this is just a mooch for potentially making money off of a channel. That would take a while because their channel's engagement, viewage, and everything is not good. It's not, they're not gonna get monetized very quickly. You have to hit requirements to do that. But then too, also, like, I do think that they're trying to shoot for building a reputation and showing like, they're essentially a victim of us. That's just my belief. And how they're the good guys and they're the saviors and they're like Robin Hood where they're gonna try and help you make money and help the people who are struggling. I think it's BS. So comment down below what you guys think. Put some guesses of what you think is gonna be in the next episode because I honestly think we should react to more of it. I'll see what else comes out and then I'll see how I can organize this so that we can witness all of this bullshit. That was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay glowing, my beautiful queens. Love you. Bye!